It's the return of the have a nice day bag from a restaurant I butchered the name of. Taco Talan. Taco Talan. Shut this, we live in a barn. Clean up. You guys, hello and welcome back to Sean's first time eating. I've never heard of this dish. And I know it's gonna be good because the person that donated has been a channel MVP, if you will, based on her previous donations and what she's had me eat. They've included Pambazo carne asada steak. Let's go, El Habanero. Oh my God. And? All right, Yasinia, let's see if you're two for two. This thing is piping hot still. <laughs> what the hell? I might like that better than a Cuban sandwich. Put your hands together for Yesenia Delgado. Get the chicken and mulatas dinner plate from Tecatlan, Taco Tilan, with their salsas if you want to spice it up or bring whatever bottle you want of your choice. I went and picked it up and got it here today because I wanted to eat it at home because last time I did it in the car, it looked like a bomb went off. Let's get weird. Mm. So let's do this at home. <laughs> BT Dubs, you have to order this over the phone. It isn't on the online menu anymore. I went inside the restaurant. They're so nice in there. Like, literally some of the nicest. That whole strip of Fullerton, man, I'm telling you what. Every single person that works in those restaurants loves what they do, and I love them for it. Stack of napkins. Napkins? Wow. Here's the two salsas once again. The Rojo and the Verde. Roja? Rojo. What are we working with? I don't even know what this is. I'll have to look it up. Oh. Okay, damn. This is just one of those dishes. You got the rice, you got the beans, you got like, what are they like, mole, almost like enchiladas in a way? I don't know. Avocado, tomato, looks fantastic. Dick. Can't abbreviate that word, just sound like a psychopath. I've always been a huge fan of mole, like that brown sauce in Mexican cuisine. From everything I'm seeing about chicken enmoladas, and hopefully not butchering that too badly, <laughs> enmoladas consist of lightly fried corn tortillas that are dipped in warm mole and filled with ingredients like butternut squash and cheese. All these photos I've seen on the internet of moladas look great. So this is Taco Talans. <laughs> So Yusinia, thank you so much. It's crazy that two people donated for that place so close together too. Did it get featured somewhere? And then everybody was like, you gotta go there. I saw they were featured in the Tribune and the Reader. Chicken and Mulatas. Yusinia, thank you. What do you think? I mean, God, wow. What a fun, different flavor. I like it a lot. Beans and rice. This place, if you're counting at home, that's two for two. They're two for two. So I learned the other day that the Verde was my, my favorite of the two. Let's put a little bit of that on there. <laughs> Flame. Flame on! Flame on! It's shredded chicken. And then that sauce is so good. They melt that like, what is that, like queso fresco? What, I mean, they melt that cheese on top of it. All this food was like 12 bucks. I've said it before, Mexican food, Puerto Rican food, Cuban food, probably my top three cuisines. <clears throat> oh, it's spicy. I don't get ya. <sighs> wow. <laughs> this fluffy rice. The Mexican style rice. You already no. You already know. Like, look at this texture. Look at the shredded, beautifully tender chicken. Kind of dip it in the rice, dip it in the beans. This is one of those platters, you just, you want all the flavors in your mouth at all the times. <laughs> Good way to talk. So you can't get this on the online ordering menu, like you seen me said. You gotta call and order it, or go there and order at the counter. This was also ready in five minutes. They started making my meal as soon as I walked in there, like instantly. I can't believe this, like I just found out about this restaurant days ago, and it is now my favorite. Some avocado. And mulattoes. Wow. I 
just, what do you want from me? I went to this restaurant near the University of Arizona years ago that like specialized in mole, like that was their thing. It was like a nice sit down place. And I went there with people I was working with, like I was filming a bunch of stuff and we got all the mole on the menu. <sighs> Hooked ever since. You want a bite? Look at all those flavors. Do you guys want to just go down Fullerton with me? Like we'll do a crawl. Like I'll sponsor a crawl and we'll just eat a little bit at like 20 different places. <laughs> The chicken in the beans works as kind of like a food glue. Go through the into the rice, you get it all. People started to ask me, like, Sean, I don't know what I want to donate for. I don't really care what you do. I just want to like keep the show going. Let's just start a string of people donating for this place. And by October, I want to have done everything on the menu. <laughs> Hashtag goals. Some people want a promotion at work. Some people want to find true love. Some people want to run a marathon, maybe an ultra marathon. I just want to eat everything at a restaurant I can't pronounce correctly. <laughs> you already know. Whatever, your goals are your goals. Want this bite? Yeah, you do. What's the best Mexican restaurant in your town where you live? If you say Taco Bell, you gotta move. Chipotle. No. I didn't really have a great Mexican restaurant in my town growing up, I don't think. We had a Chi-Chi's, <laughs> which I'm pretty sure just means tatas, just super inappropriate. No, there's gotta be some other meaning to that, right? That's what somebody once told me and I was just like, that can't be. I want the boobs for dinner. Like, shut up, Connor. It's always a Connor. What I'm basically getting at is, I know that not everybody's got like awesome, authentic Mexican restaurants where they live, like neither did I. So when you're craving Mexican food, do you just make it yourself? <laughs> you white person? There's some ground beef, mission tortillas, a little bit of tostito salsa. <laughs> We've all been there, I'm not knocking it. This beans and rice is fire-lame. I wanted to say fire and flame, so I said fire lane. Actually, the whitest thing I could probably do right now is open these on the border chips, which this bag, when I got it for $4, was bigger than the grocery cart. Car? Buggy? Cart. This is also my first time ever having on the border chips. Like I bought these <laughs> for, <laughs> for Fourth of July weekend. Cause that's what people in America do. They eat chips and salsa on Fourth of July. They are like the, they, Allie nailed it. She's like, these taste like buttered popcorn. They're like popcorn tortilla chips. I don't know what's going on. So I looked at the nutrition facts. I thought it was just gonna go, don't look here. Dump cut. No. It's better without tortilla chips. Can't believe I'm saying that. No. Don't forget to bring a towel. So when you guys are seeing this video, I pre-recorded this one so you'd have something when I'm gone and out of town and not, don't have access to a lot of time to edit. So I'm in Baltimore right now. I'm with some friends, I'm kind of doing some filming, some work, and then a lot of fun. Mmm, little side salad. Damn, white people food is so boring. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one here today. I'm gonna literally finish the rest of it. I'm gonna scarf this down in the corner and just be like, don't look at me. <laughs> the Venmo, the cash up, the PayPal. I'll do super thanks as they come in. Like I said, this one is recorded early. So if you're super thanksing, you're getting a shout out very, very soon. I love you guys. Why did I try to salute again? Just constant salutes. <laughs> Wasn't even in the military, what am I doing? I love each and every one of you. Be good to each other and mulattas up. And mulattas down. Taco Tea Land. <laughs> the Tea Land. Thanks for being you. Alright, we stopped in this liquor store to get booze before we go on the boat, and look what they have in Baltimore. Baltimore knows what's up. <laughs>